Hello everyone, this is Scientific Man and today we will be explaining you sorting materials into who. This video is for grade 6. Now, let's learn all the categories under sorting material into who. These are all the Categories on the sorting materials into a group. Note, we will not be doing all this in this video. If you want to understand the rest of the categories, comment down on this video so I can make a new one on that. Solid and insoluble substances. Substances that dissolve in water are known as soluble substances. Substances that do not dissolve in water are known as insoluble substances. Example: soluble substances, sugar, salt, water, etc. Insoluble substances, salt, sand, salt, etc. Have you ever wonder what happens to salt and sugar when you mix it with water? Yes, you are right. It gets dissolved in water. Sometimes they get more time to dissolve and sometimes they do not. That depends on what kind of salt or sugar you have. Anytime we do any activities on soluble and insoluble substances. We tend to use only water to know that are they soluble or not. The reason for using only water is that water is a single motion solvent. So whenever you put something to water. Uh, it may take a long time or a very short time, but surely they will dissolve in water. Either by either they will be soluble, soda dissolve, or they might decompose and dissolve. You lost it to try out this activity. Take a tumbler that has water and then Take substances like a piece of cloth, sugar, salt, food dye. Take four tumblers. For the first tumbler of water, add the food dye. See what happens. Yes, the food dye gets mixed with the water, or we can also tell it's dissolved in water. When you took salt for the second tumbler, salt completely dissolved in water. Sugar. When you put sugar to water, even sugar completely dissolved in water. And the fourth tumbler, we put cloth. For this, it won't dissolve in like an hour or two. You have to leave it out in the tumbler for at least Two, uh, one to two months, but you have to make sure that you eat the meals where the sunlight falls on it. So, like that, it can decompose. Yes, water is that's why called a universal solvent. Everything can decompose in water and when it decomposes, it gets mixed or dissolved with the water. Now, let's take a look at the wonderful experiment. Soluble and insoluble substances. Now, 
will be showing you some ex uh, experiments on soluble and insoluble substances. The material mainly are two glasses filled with water and some substances. The substances I am using is chalk powder and screw dye. As they are more easy for you everyone to understand. You can use any other substance. Any. So now I will start this experiment. First. First, we will take chalk powder and thin water and stir it. It is very important to stir it and know that to know if it's soluble or insoluble in water. We have to stir it because if we don't stir it, it might not actually dissolve. It could even dissolve. Now everybody knows salt is dissolving in water. So, if we don't stir it, the salt is just going to settle in the bottom. So, when we don't stir it, it settles in the bottom and we get the result wrong. We let this stay for a while. So, now we will start with two drops. We just need two drops of food dye. Be careful when you're using food dye, make sure not to drop it or anything.
Hardly. This property is determined by how hard or how soft the object is. According to most scales of hardness, diamond is the hardest object and tar, which is the chalk part, chalk, chalk part of the softest object. Soft doesn't mean you will see anything. It's compressed. It means that it is not the hardest. It is the least hardest. Take a situation where you went to the market to get some green peas for food and some green colored beads for some decoration. Imagine accidentally both of them get mixed and you, realize, you don't realize it until you reach home. You put the beads and the pea, mixture of those beads, peas on the table and you wonder what to do. In this case, the property of hardness is going to come to the rescue. You might be wondering, how does hardness come to the rescue? Yes, when you have a mixture of a piece and a beef, take some in your hand, put it on your palm, and roll it around. Don't compress it a lot because the peel you break is a little. And you might see something poking your hand or something hard. That is the B. So this is how you can separate things or sort substances using the property of hardness. And motion and thinking. This property is based on what all objects float in water. And what are sink? And you can take an example from the slide. Objects that sink in water can be uh, very heavy stone, a cement brick, a nut, a bolt, also steel, metal beads. These all sink in water. And here in the slide, the examples of the objects that float in water are a rubber ducky, a boat, or can also be a yacht, wood, and a beach ball. Now let's take a look a floating and sinking experiment. Any time anyone here wonder, how do these objects float or sink in water? Yeah, this depends on the density of the object and the density of the liquid. Here you can take an example, rubber ducky. Rubber is far less denser than water, so it floats in water. But a metal key is a lot more denser than water, so it sinks immediately. Density here refers to how close the molecules are and how far. on floating and sinking properties. There are some substances here that put in water as well. First, we have the balloon. Put in water. Take a stick. Take it. But it comes to the surface, so the balloon does not sink in water. Take the next item, a pebble. Put it in water. The pebble is not coming up, so the pebble sinks in water. Take a piece of cardboard. Put it in water. It doesn't sink in water, but it's quite low. Okay. A piece of 
पाठ और रचना से भी मौत है
ਨੂੰ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਯੋ ਮੈਂ ਸੁਣ ਰਹੀ ਹਾਂ ਮੇਰੀ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਈਂ ਦਾ ਹਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਉੱਤੇ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਜੜ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਤੇ ਨੂੰ ਉੱਤੇ ਫਾਰ ਜੋ ਦਾ ਸੇਵ ਦਾ ਗਲਾਸ ਕਿ ਤੇ ਸੇਨ ਦਾ ਬਲਾ ਵਾਂਸ ਇਟ ਸੇਨ ਦਾ ਗਲਾਸ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਲੀ ਬੀ ਓਕੇ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਥਰੂ ਇਟ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਕਾਲਡ Uh, the the last and final category I was talking about is interview. Look at the liquid. Have the liquid that mixed with each other. A liquid that do not mix with each other. So here are some four questions that are present next to the picture in the slide. The first one is water and oil. See what happens. Second, it's water and cutaneous. Are there any difference between the two mixtures? That's one question you have to answer. Yes, take it down. I'll give you 10 seconds. Yes, the 10 seconds are over. The difference between the two mixtures are that the first one, which is oil and water, is an invisible mixture. And the container and water is a municipal mixture. And the universe, oil and water do not mix, cicada and water do mix. You can try out this activity by taking different, 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 different kind of liquids and then mix them together. You might be wondering why they don't mix. And why some mix, or why some are miscible and why some are immiscible? This is because uh, we can take an example here, and very good example is oil and water. In oil and water, water is more denser than oil. So what happens? That causes oil to go above the water. So once the oil is above the water, they don't, they don't can never mix. Basically, the oil is still in mantle, that oil is still, what happens to that, a big tank of oil is still in the ocean, and that led to forming a different sheet on the, sheet of oil on the ocean. There were some pictures taken from drones. So that is present in the slide as you can see. That is a very, very, very dangerous. There's another thing dangerous about oil. When oil is filled in water, it doesn't want to be oil. It's usually petrol. But petrol is filled on, in water. And any bird comes in contact with it. So you can take a king fisher. King fisher goes and hunts in water. Goes, puts its legs on the water, in the water and its beak inside catches a fish. But this what will happen if petrol has leaked in that water. No, it's not that they won't get food, but the petrol anything because petrol is very sticky and the wind has stuck. If somebody doesn't come and makes it proper, it can never fly and it's going to die in that spot. A picture of that kind of white stuff is present in this life. Now let's take a look at a wonderful experiment. 
Now, I will be showing you an experiment on musical and immusical liquids. Materials we need are two glasses filled with water, milk, oil. Now, let's get started with the experiment. Now, in the first glass, take the milk and add it. Stir it well. And in the second one, take the oil and the Look what happens. Stir it well. As you can see, we have mixed the oil with the water. You can see that layer of oil on top. You can see this layer from down. You can see it. You can see that layer, right? Yeah. That is a layer of oil, and this is a oil of water. The reason for oil going above the water is that the oil is less dense than water. And here, the mix and water have water and milk is perfect, it has mixed properly. So now we can come to a conclusion that milk and water are miscible liquids and oil and water are immiscible liquids. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Scientific here. I really hope this video was informative to you and useful for you. And I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. And also, surely don't forget to subscribe, like, share and click on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video on science or anything related to gaming. My name might be gaming but that's not it. I am going to uploading, I am going to be uploading many gaming videos as well as some science videos also. So stay tuned till next time. It's me Scientific Man doing love. Bye.